When you think of pickup trucks, you will think of Japanese brands, or maybe an American one. But Peugeot, now distributed by Burmas, wants you to think Chinese, I mean French. This is the Peugeot Landtrek, Peugeot's maiden foray into the passenger pickup segment. With a 1.9 litre turbo diesel engine up front, a Peugeot inspired interior in between, and a decently sized bed in the back, is this going to be the new budget pickup option? My name is Ayman Abdullah. This is Malaysia Motoring. This is our quick look at the new Peugeot Landtrek. Now, the Peugeot Landtrek isn't a unique Peugeot model. Instead, it's based off of a Chinese pickup whose name we will not mention. But in that conversion from <coughs> pickup to Peugeot, it has gained quite a bit of flair. The face includes the tiger claw look to it, which is uh, very reminiscent of what you get from the Peugeot 2008, 3008 and 5008. And down the side, you get very Peugeot dual tone alloy wheels, 18 inches in fact. It's worth noting that the tyres on this particular car are a very aggressive all-terrain spec, which is very different from what you get from Burmaz's BT50 under the Mazda badge. What I do quite like, however, is the presentation of this car because it looks very muscular and I have to say that this green is rather fetching. And the side steps and that little bull bar at the rear are all standard equipment. Inside the Landtrek, it feels kind of upmarket but also kind of utilitarian because a lot of the materials in here are very nice like this very Peugeot steering wheel as well as this very Peugeot center stack replete with the piano style toggles and the singular volume knob down here. The infotainment system is of an unspecified size but it must be said that the screen is very wide and there is also a digital instrument cluster or rather a TFT screen nestled between a couple of dials. I'm sorry I'm kind of rushing this a little bit because we don't really have that much time. What is very clear however is that this car uses a six-speed automatic gearbox powered by punch and you get a selectable all-wheel drive system between two high four high and four low you also get a manual handbrake in order for you know slightly better tractability if you do intend to go off-road and as far as space is concerned there seems to be quite an abundance of it in terms of spec well we don't really know much right now but uh, as you can see I've got an electric seat and so does the passenger, which is quite nice. You also get rear air vents and plenty of USB ports, making this car pretty well equipped along with its dual zone climate control. Now, specifications for the Landtrek have not been released, and so we can only really comment on what we can see. In terms of safety, we can tell that there is lane keep assist and a 360 degree camera, and uh, blind spot monitoring doesn't seem to be available on this truck, based on my quick peek of the rear view mirror. Um, there may be some other features in here that I'm not aware of, but again, we don't really have any concrete specifications on this truck and we haven't actually gotten confirmation that this is a specification that we'll be receiving in our market. So a lot of this remains all up in the air. However, we can say that this will go up against vehicles like Mazda's own BT50, which also has a 1.9 litre engine, as well as Isuzu's D-Max with the same engine, as well as the new Ford Ranger and the rather aging Toyota Hilux. Oh, and the Triton. I keep forgetting that one. In any case, let us know what you think about Peugeot's first pickup. Do you think this is rather exciting? Because I certainly do. And um, let us know if this is something that you'd consider. Always in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Take care, stay safe, and land track.